is pro-abortion for political reasons rather than for reasons. Well, it, it could be his... You know, every every Muslim, in fact, there are many Muslims around the world, and Islam itself is not... Some, the Muslims are not a monolith. They have different views, different perspectives, different understanding, different interpretation of all these rules. Yes? So is there, there is a common standard for life? No, there is, there is, of course. There is a, a so common, yeah. there's a common standard to which uh, most Muslims adhere to, but then there are Muslims who would actually disagree with those things. Right. Like, for example, abortion is a very good example. Yes? Most Muslims would disagree with abortion and they would be pro-life. Yes? But there are many Muslims who would be in favor of abortion. But, but, ma but mainly the, ex uh, the reason that they would be such is not from a religious perspective, more from their own perspective. Yeah, personal, mostly. Yeah, of course I see it as wrong. If, you're, if I'm coming purely from Islamic perspective, I would say they, they're following their desire rather than the faith. And the same applies within Christianity as well. There are many Christians who are, who are pro-life pro and many, many Christians who are Pro abortion. Right, I'm from Ireland and we had the referendum a few months back and it was like overwhelmingly nearly 70% of people voted to legalize abortion because the campaign yeah. used rape, like specifically rape, even though like, it's less than 3% of total abortion. They use that and um, there's 70% of people, even though it's like 70% of the people in the country are Catholic. So then what the Catholic Church said after that is, well, Catholics, look at the statistics, Catholics have to, some Catholics voted for abortion. And they said, well, those Catholics should go to confession. They should, as a Catholic, if they are actual Catholics, they should go to confession and repent for their sins because they voted for their sins. They, they voted for this thing. Are you, are you from a Catholic background? Yeah, I, I'm Catholic. Okay. I'm for, they, is that the reason you're, you're pro-life? At first, I would have said, out of, out of following Christian tradition, you're Catholic, I'm pro -life. But then, even if you put the religion aside, I think you can see that a pregnant woman, that the, 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 the fetus, it has value to it, that it, it is yeah. life. Now, I think even even atheists believe in that in some instances. Now, it's not purely religious. Yeah, obviously, not every atheist is pro-abortion. And yes. not every Christian is. is yeah. But most, most of the people who are religious, they use the scripture to substantiate right. their stance yeah. and their ideology. And many of the atheists who who basically see this, they, they see it from a humanistic perspective. And that's the reason they actually distinguish between when when a pregnant woman is pregnant, they do not consider that fetus as a child until a certain age. Yes? I think the, the, the legal age in this country I think it's 14 weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I think it, it, is it 14 it weeks? Yes, it can go up to 24, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. 24? I believe. <laughs> that would be murder, that's, definitely. A, that's a very late, that's a very, very late. No, yeah. But you know what, the thing, the thing with abortion though is, yeah. we speak about abortion, yeah, we're having all these, all these perspectives and stuff, but I don't see a single woman here who's actually giving their opinion on abortion, which well, is one of the things No, no, I, I discussed it earlier, and there were more women with whom I discussed this, and even, even the women, would, uh, they agreed most of the time that it is not right for them to abort a child, but the thing is, you see, many of these atheists who actually are pro-abortion, they wouldn't use the term child. Yeah. Yes? They say ball of cells. Exactly. Some of them will say, there's, oh, it's a bunch of cells. Some will say it's fetus. Some will say X, Y, and Z. So no they want to dehumanize. Okay, at the end of the day, the yeah. in a way. But, the, but, but I believe at the end of the day, the only thing you're dehumanizing is the woman. It's her choice, is it not, right? I, I disagree with abortion. Refuse yeah, but even, I, would never, I would never have my well, no, when you say her, When you say it's her choice, but is her choice right? What about the choice does, of the child? Yeah, does the, does the child, exactly. who still doesn't okay. have the ability okay. to distinguish between... I actually between studied this, this is very interesting, yeah. I actually studied this, yeah. Before abortion was actually uh, legal, yeah. so before the 19, I think 1964, 1967, that's it. Before 1967, I think between 1956 and 1967, more than 300,000 or something along those lines, women, died yeah because they were doing illegal uh, abortions, abortions yeah. on the back streets of london they had these illegal clubs Cops, yeah absolutely disgusting yes. they didn't have uh, hygienic tools they didn't have uh, proper medicine and proper practice so the argument is even That's still, you see whether it's done legally or illegally the point still remains there's a child who dies but, but the point is either a the nhs and our services offer illegally and save lives or b people are going to find ways it's, to do it's already anyway. it's already legal in nhs yeah exactly or b wait one second or b people do it anyway and people die like an island like an island yeah do you know how many it's disgusting so no matter no matter what we argue how much we argue is it bad is it good what's the morals 
how is it going to affect the baby? Is it a choice? Is it not a choice? At the end of the day, people will seek it out anyway, regardless. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying they will not seek other means to abort the child. But, but, but the thing is, we are talking about the moral of that killing a child who is yet unborn is right or not. It's not about how that child is killed. You see what I mean? But the, we're talking about just the morality of it. At the end of the day, even if you believe it's right, yeah, even if you believe it's wrong, even if you believe it's right, doesn't matter. There will still be abortions. No, no, but no, you see, a what, a, what a, yeah, we're talking about two different things. I think. Holy God! It's not good enough. It's not good enough, Yeah, no, no. Yeah. no, no. Yeah. 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 Start raining again, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So there are all these, it's like, like if you want to talk about protecting women, is that not disgusting that all these women who have abortions go on to have serious mental health issues and serious suicide problems? Oh, what, 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 oh how are you doing, you alright? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And then support, proper support. Welcome to Speaker's Corner. <laughs> okay, okay, so we ban abortions completely. We're not That's completely, completely. I, think, I, think, I think there is. If, if, if the baby's dead, if the woman's life is at threat, then it's rape. Okay, so, so abortion is only in special circumstances, right? So what about the thousands of illegal abortions that happen every day? Think about, think about before abortions were legal, before abortions were legal, there were thousands, hundreds of thousands of deaths. I know that, right? In Ireland, right? In Ireland, people saw, because people saw no, because in Ireland, abortion was illegal, right? And people would come to the UK to get abortions. So the thing is, right, they did this study in the US between states where abortion was illegal and abortions was legal. And they had people, the people who just go to the next state to get the abortion. But when they legalized abortion in the other state where it had previously been legal, the abortion rate went up. So the number of people going to those states, because that's, they that see it as an alternative, and it, it became normalised. It's the same thing happened in the UK. I'm and, sorry, and, I don't see. I don't, listen, I don't see. I don't see a, a solution to it. A, you either ban abortion, and people die, or B, you uh, let abortion happen and, and Wait, babies okay. get murdered. Why, you, why don't you see a solution? I have a question. What, what about the solution why, of having a child? That's not possible. Right? Why not? Not in, not in today's society where we, where we commodify we, sex. We got contraceptives. Why is it impossible? We commodify sex. Look how our society is selling sex. No, 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 no. We got we got contraceptions, so there is a solution. We got contraceptions. Yeah, I understand we have contraception. Okay, so the people who... It's not people, 100%. No, 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 it is, it is almost 99.9%. That's not 100%. Okay. No, but the thing On is... On large, are, millions look, of people look, are having sex most, every day. No, no, most the of the abortions that take place, yes, it's not because they... Bad they, planning. Hear me out, hear me out. Accidents. Hear me out. Most of the abortions that take place, it's not because of uh, circumstances like rape or like... Um, uh, basically like uh, where the contraceptive went wrong or something most of it is because they did not use the contraception or they ha and and they managed to somehow uh, get a uh, get a uh, uh, sorry pregnancy without uh, and they did not plan it most of the cases is because of this is not because they use contraceptions and the contraceptions have failed so what i'm saying is that for you to say that there is no solution that is and that's incorrect I don't see there, a solution no no wait wait there there is a solution yes of, of of being responsible yes most of the things today the youngsters are basically having sex outside that's not a solution that's impossible let me finish to responsibility. let me finish yes when two people have sex yes without contraceptions then these two people who are consenting to sex yes they know what's going to happen okay so in order for them to become responsible first and foremost it is necessary that you do not have sex if you do not want to have children now wait 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 if they if they desire to have sex then they're doing it outside marriage that's the other thing because outside marriage there's no responsibility yes what happens is a boyfriend will have sex with this girl because they both wanted to have sex yes then the boyfriend says look we were both we both consented to their sex now you became pregnant i didn't ask you to become pregnant yeah, and yes and i'm going to leave you alone i'm going to go away now she's she's in stress she's distressed and she's now in uh, mm -hmm. probably going through this terrible situation terrible um, um uh, situation in which she doesn't know what to do what is her natural inclination Abort. to kill the child listen i understand that. i understand that but that's what no wait no wait a minute was there was was there was there was there a, was there a, was there a, was there a solution before that happened was there a solution before that happened listen but it's not anti-abortion or is he pro-abortion listen i'm not i'm just trying to understand the conversation i'm not listen i'm anti-abortion in the sense that it's killing the baby at the same time i can't see a solution i'm not i'm pro-life yes pro-life me i'm pro pro-choice with restrictions of viability 
So one question is complex. But, uh, uh, we all know. Well, I think no, it's not complex. Viability is between 20 and 24. Sorry, it's, it is a, a, a point. Point. disgusting event. Yeah, it is. It is something abhorrent. Yes. Viability is when the baby can live on its own out of the woman's side. Yeah. If you don't have, so that's where I draw the line. Then we know we're going to have. I understand. Yeah, which is the point this gentleman made. Yes. Yes. Quacks. We'll have quacks doing it. Yeah. What do you do about the law? We put in four weeks and drive these women because this using tablets that or whatever it is you can get rid of the baby. Yeah. But I hope there will never be an abortion in my family. The baby can live by itself. By itself, out of the woman's body. So I don't believe in any of the. As I told my children, we have weddings before we have babies. Before the wedding, we'll take the baby. I believe that it's not our own body. Now, what does society do? She has no say anymore. It's logical. Except with mothers that are in need. That's why I was just trying to get into the choice. And it's a sociological problem. Well, unwanted pregnancy doesn't just happen, right? Well, it. When you say it doesn't, it just doesn't. It is something that people are aware that when two people have sex, yes, then there is possibility of getting pregnant. When you say it doesn't happen, look, it is not something that happened by accident. It happened by choice. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. When I say it doesn't just happen, yeah. Two people have sex, yes. unprotected, the chances, especially yes. young people, the chances are high yes. that a pregnancy will occur, right? We all agree with that. Yes. So it's but intentional. Question, yes, it's, it's intentional, intentional on the part of these two young Absolutely, people. Absolutely, yes. But the question is, what other issues are there working behind the scenes? In other words, I'm proud to say that my children never had this problem. Now, I'd like to think it's because my wife and I raised yeah. smart, responsible children and they did not want to disappoint their parents. Which and, is a very important point, I agree. Right, and and we yeah. tried to be responsible parents, I, I hope. You know,